Hi, I'm Chewie. Canoe Quest. Hey everyone, today I'm visiting a river on the coast of Alaska. That's a long way from my village. I'm going to canoe along the river with Nina and help with her research. I'll record what we find in my notebook. We're collecting different rocks and fossils to help us learn about the river. It's important to respect the land, so I've gotten permission from the local tribal council to collect here. Tap the jars to choose two kinds of rocks to collect. Tap the arrow button to see more jars. Agate stones. Choose one more jar. Granite rocks. Canoeing is an important part of my culture. I'm so excited to share it with you. Tap to pick your canoe. Tap the check mark when you're ready. Let's canoe and look for rocks for Nina. Tap the river to steer the canoe with your paddle. You can also use the arrows on your keyboard. Ooh, look how these leaves are floating down the river. Yes, a river is a body of water that flows downhill and it's always moving. The movement is called a current and it can be fast or slow. Let's head over there. Collect all the rocks Nina needs. Tap the colorful striped agates and the sparkly granite rocks. Agates are a kind of quartz stone with stripes. They sometimes have bright colors. The rocks with sparkly crystals are granite and they're very hard. Nice collecting! Masip Cho, River. Look what you found! Agate stones and granite rocks. Tap or drag to put the rocks in the right jars. What do you notice is different about these rocks? Agates are colorful and striped. Granite rocks are speckled and sparkly. Sorting. The table shows what we found. Let's read it. We found seven agate stones and four granite rocks. That was fun! And we learned about different kinds of rocks. Let's pick two more jars and go canoeing again. Choose two more jars to fill. You can also tap the button to choose a new color for your canoe. Shell fossils. Fossils. Let's help Nina find more rocks. Look at how fast the water moves over there. Spots where the water moves really fast are called rapids. They happen on straight parts at the beginning of the river, like where we are now. My elders taught me how to read the river. Thanks to them, I can figure out where I am by looking at it. Let's head over there. Collect all the rocks Nina needs. Tap the fossils shaped like shells and the bumpy coral fossils. These shell fossils are from animals that were here a long time ago. Coral is an underwater animal that's found in the ocean. These fossils came from coral that lived here long ago. Terrific. 
Thick. Masik Cho, Tribal Council, for letting us collect here. Look what you found! Shell fossils and coral fossils. What do you notice is different about these rocks? The shell fossils have different shapes. Coral fossils are bumpy. Nice sorting. The table shows what we found. Let's read it. We found three shell fossils and six coral fossils. That was fun. I wonder what rocks are in other parts of the river. Let's pick two more jars and go canoeing again. Choose two more jars to fill. Tap the arrow button to see more jars. Jade stones, limestone rocks. Let's find more rocks. Cool. I noticed that the water is so low in this part of the river, I can see the bottom. Let's be careful we don't get stuck. Yep, we're near the ocean now, and rivers near the ocean have tides. Tides are the rise and fall of the water. You know it's low tide when you see more of the ground. It's also when you can see these mud flats sticking out of the water. Understanding the river is an important part of my culture. There's so much to learn about things like tides. That looks like a good spot. Collect all the rocks Nina needs. Tap the green jade stones and the white rocks. Jades are shiny and usually come in many different shades of green. The white and gray rocks are made of limestone and they are really soft. Nice collecting! Masik Cho River. Look what you found! Jade stones and limestone rocks. What do you notice is different about these rocks? Jades are shiny and usually green. Limestone rocks are white. Nice sorting! The table shows what we found. Let's read it. We found eight jade stones and three limestone rocks. That was fun! There is so many different kinds of rocks in the river. Let's pick two more jars and go canoeing again. Choose two more jars to fill. Yellow rocks, leaf fossils. Wow, I noticed that the plants are so much taller here than when we were near the ocean. Look at that water swirling around. Rivers aren't always straight. When the water hits the land, it sometimes spins around fast. This is called a whirlpool. I love seeing these whirlpools. We'll be careful when we paddle near them. What's that over there? Collect all the rocks Nina needs. Tap the yellow rocks and the fossils shaped like leaves. The yellow rocks are that color because of all the minerals in them. Cool plant fossils. The leaves made prints in the rocks, but the plants are gone now. Terrific. Masik Cho, Tribal Council, for letting us collect here. Look what you found! Yellow rocks and leaf fossils. What do you notice is different about these rocks? The yellow rocks can be round or sharp. The plant fossils have leaf shapes. Nice sorting. The table shows what we found. Let's read it. We found five yellow rocks and five leaf fossils. That was fun. 
I wonder what rocks are in other parts of the river. Let's pick two more jars and go canoeing again. Choose two more jars to fill. Red rocks. Volcanic rocks. Let's canoe some more. Whoa! I wonder why there are so many rocks in this part of the river. Rivers are strong enough to pick up rocks and carry them. That's called erosion. And as the river goes towards the ocean, it drops rocks along the way. I learned to canoe from Connie. She showed me how to steer carefully around the rocks. That looks like a good spot. Collect all the rocks Nina needs. Tap the red rocks and the black rocks with the holes in them. The red rocks have a lot of iron in them. That's why they're this color. These black rocks came from volcanoes and have lots of holes in them. Nice collecting! Masicho River. Look what you found! Red rocks and volcanic rocks. What do you notice is different about these rocks? The red rocks get their color from minerals like iron. Volcanic rocks are black and came from flowing hot lava. Nice sorting! The table shows what we found. Let's read it. We found six red rocks and four volcanic rocks. So cool. Thank you to the local tribal council for giving us permission to collect here. Great job. We found lots of rocks and fossils that Nina needed for her research. We learned that the rocks along the river have many different shapes and colors. Masito, thank you. <laughs>